What is up, everybody? Today I'm going to show you some a uh, couple uh, pictorial medicine bottles. I have some snakes and a, a lamb, birds, eagle, <clears throat> owls. A couple owls. I got a bunch of owls. I guess an eagle. Bells. So I'm going to show them to you. It's a little hard to pick it up on a video so I'm gonna have to do them on my uh, black book over here to show the uh, detail but here we go and just so, just so you know you can check me out on Facebook too I'm always posting on Facebook all my videos I make go here and get flush antique skull poison bottles you say I'll post all my videos there well, a lot of poison bottles and pictures you know this video is going on YouTube I do a lot of pictures you know, I love some, you know, pretty rare poison bottles I come across and have my collection. So, if you can, check me out on Facebook if, uh, if you Facebook, all right? All right, so for starters, I'm going to show you this uh, San Francisco bottle. It has a uh, snake climbing up a mortar kind of branches on it also I think it was a German druggist there it's a nice early blown one like I said it's pretty cool it has a snake on it So next is C.P. McKee, Rexall Druggist, from Three, Oak, Three Oaks, Michigan. It has three oak trees on it. Has some uh, measurements over here. 160 cc's. This side uh, goes up to, I guess, six ounces. It's a little bit purple, turning a little bit purple. Pretty, uh, pretty cool one. A lot of embossing. All right, next up, Wilkinson and Company Druggist from Iowa. There's some kind of bird on it. But imagine it's an eagle on a mortar and pedestal. Not the best, but kind of cool. And so this guy just has an owl on. I don't even know what it is, where it's from, nothing. Just has an embossed owl on it. Looks like a maybe a cologne bottle or something. Got a horseshoe with a with an owl on it. No name, no nothing. It's a little beat up too, but. I took it just because it had an owl on it. Alright, Alright, so here I have two uh, Kentucky bottles. They're the same thing, just different sizes. So, I'll just show you one of them since they're the same. So it has the, the wheel on it. I guess it's a wheel. Kind of looks like a sunburst, but I guess it's a wheel. G.A. Brinkman. So it's got some scales and on the bottom has the same wheel. So it's kind of got a lot of embossing. It's pretty neat. Right, there you go. Alright, next up are two bottles I showed already out of a uh, these I actually dug myself in Rawway. So this is a nice one. George Brown. Drug is from Rawway, New Jersey. It's got an owl sitting on the uh, mortar and pedestal. 
I actually dug two of these. They were the same size, same bottle basically, and I, I sold it. I sold one of them and kept one. Kind of wish I uh, kept them both, but because they're hard to come by. So, like I said, this one I dug myself. And then I got this little guy. Also has an owl on it. It's Terrell's Pharmacy. But imagine it's on Terrell Road in uh, Rawway. But it has a owl sitting on a mortar and pedestal and the scales. Let's see if I can get a better. There you go. I think you can see it there. I showed this in my Rawway bottles that I dug. It's in that video, like I said. I dug this years ago. Right, let's see what we got next. Now we'll keep going with the owl bottles. This is Johnson's Druggist. Another owl on the mortar and pedestal. This one's from Michigan. Traverse City, Michigan. I like the owl bottles. So here's another one I dug myself here, locally. It's an Elizabeth bottle. It's got a bell on it. Maybe some wheat leaves or something. I don't know what kind of leaves they are, but. So I dug this one up in, uh, I think I got this in Rawway. I dug it in Rawway. That's pretty cool. Keeping the theme on the ones I dug. Again, these are my Elizabeth uh, video that I did of all the Elizabeth bottles I have and some that I dug. GH Horning. Mortar pedestal and a nice ribbon. It's on Elizabeth Avenue and Elizabeth. So I have two different sizes. I don't know if you would really call that a pictorial uh, medicine bottle, but it's got a lot going on. Not bad for finding it myself, too. I'll take these all day long. All right, so another owl bottle. I forgot where this is from. What, what state? This is the corner of Second South and State, but I don't know what state it's from. Parlor Drugstore. It's got a owl on the moon, crescent moon. I thought that was pretty neat. Here's a cool one with a lamb on it. Alice Lamb, druggist in Aspen, Colorado. Seeing these around a little bit. It's pretty cool, it has a nice rainbow. From being in the ground also. I like the rainbow, but I don't like the stain. That irritates me. But I said I like the rainbow. It's kind of a little neat little bottle. And I got one more coming up. This is the monster of my collection. And 
All right, so this is my biggest one. It's a 32 ounce American drug company from Los Angeles. This giant eagle on it. Not too big on the medicine bottles, but when I seen this thing, I said, hey, I gotta buy it. Cause it's huge. It's just a monster of a bottle. And the back is all ribbed. You see all the rib in it? I just thought it was a pretty neat bottle. So I had to buy it. It's a little bit purple too. It has a little purple purple tint to it. So I guess it's been sitting in a window somewhere or something. Doesn't look like it's been in the ground. It's pretty clean. I think it's about 10 and a half inches tall. So it's a pretty big, uh, pretty big medicine model. And I'm going to keep going. I'm trying to get a nice, uh, little collection going to the birds and animals and trees and stuff so hopefully i'll be showing you some more videos of uh some more i'm gonna be getting in all right peace out all right everybody thanks for watching uh don't forget to hit that like button subscribe i'm always posting videos about bottles and uh share it if you know somebody that likes the uh, medicine bottles like that and uh, be sure to comment always ready to talk bottles all right take care peace out